Cubs audition starting against the Red Sox and getting help from Carlos Delgado in the first off. Brian Rose is 26th tops in the American League. Jay's 22nd straight game with a home run three shy the big league record. Top two, Nomar Gassiapara. Nomar seventh, he's now hitting 392. That's tops in the league, but Halliday pitched pretty well, allowed four runs on six and seven plus. Bottom three, two, two. Alex Gonzalez taking Rose deep, his seventh. But Gonzalez would have to leave in this game with a strained right groin. It's 4-2 Blue Jays. Later in the inning, Jimmy Williams has seen enough. Brian Rose gone after two and two third, allowed four runs on three hits, top eight. Jason Veritek singles to right off Paul Quantrill. Carl Everett comes in. That cuts the Toronto lead to five to four. Bottom eight now, Riel Cormier on in relief. This is Brad Fulmer, and that's a home run. His 13th and gone. Blue Jays win the game 6-4, but afterwards, Billy Koch, who came in to get a 17th save, interrupting Carlos Delgado's post-game interview, and here we go. It's his 28th birthday, and Delgado gets a birthday pie with the shaving cream. He did extend his hitting streak to 18 games, two for four, three RBI. Halliday gets his first win since being sent to the minors May 17th. He lose to play this game. Top two, Kip Wells gives one up to Shane Spencer, and that's in the gap. Jorge Posada scores. Spencer two for four. He's now hitting 282. The Yanks up three, nothing early. Top six, Kevin Byrne in relief. Derek Jeter shoots one down the left field line. It's going to let Jose Vizcayano score. He's sub for Scott Brocious at third. The Yanks go up nine to one. Ramiro Mendoza having arm trouble. That is not what the Yankees need. He would leave with slight stiffness in the right shoulder after five innings. Bottom eight, 10 six Yanks. Mariano Rivera struggling again. Megalo Ardonia's there, three for four, drives in Ray Durham. It's 10 seven Yanks. Nothing easy anymore for these guys. Next better, Paul Canerco. Paul Canerco. That'd be a home run if we're playing on a silo. They're not. They're playing a Comiskey. And that'll end the threat in the eighth. Yankees close them out in the ninth. 12-8. Yanks pound out 16 hits. Four by Bernie Williams. He's hit backwards. Start with game two. And this is the top of the first. David Justice against Mark Johnson. This is how you get things started. The three-run homer for Justice, 21st of the year. Three-zip. Bottom three now, 5 nothing. Enrique Wilson, a little wrap job by Bobby Higginson. A couple of runs are going to score. It's now 5 nothing Cleveland, and Higginson, he's bummed. What are you going to do about it? That's what I want to know. Well, they're down 7 nothing. so Higginson, he's done something about it. Off Rigdon, 2-0 pitch. That's a hitter's count. Gone. Two-run shot, 13th of the year, 7-2. Higginson, again. Rigdon, again. Same thing. A little farther to the right this time. Time. Second two-run homer, 14th of the year. It's 7-6 Cleveland. Detroit hasn't come back from a seven-run deficit in 17 years, but they're doing it now. Higginson, again, is third homer. That might be a little excessive for the Carolina League, but it works in the bigs. Makes it 8-7. They go on and win it 14-8. Forget about the collar in game one. Higgins. Hi, it's Jason. John Vanderwall's really been a great story this year. Never had a chance to play regularly. You're finding out what he can do. Now he's going to fight off the one-two fastball there from Rick Reed. Stays alive, fouls off another pitch, and then kaboom, it's his ninth home, oh. that's a career high. Ah. 40 RBIs, one off his career high. No one, ever, story. Never, no one ever used to hit that, that right. scoreboard out that way. Anyway, here with Rick Reed is on the hill, Rick. Yeah, he's having trouble with his location. Normally a guy that has to stay down to be successful, you like to take advantage of that terrific infield, but everything just up for Reed tonight. Robin Ventura, other way. This is a 6-3 game. Ventura rocks it out. He was two for four in this one. His 16th of the year. It's a 6-4 game. Bottom of the seventh. It was L2. Mike Piazza, that with two men on. He rips that. Doing the major damage. Whoa, that's a score. Yeah, that's a score. Belt and Edgardo Alfonso as well. Piazza extends his hitting streak to 13 games, and you've got an 8-6 ball game. Now, bottom of the eighth, 8-7 eight, Pirates. Man on first. Boys L2. Edgardo Alfonso, that's a fair ball. Alfonso down line. Now, look at Derek Bell going around. He's three for three in this game. Look at it, Rick. You gotta like this. Ah! Not afraid of getting the uniform dirty. Not that guy, huh? That's the go-ahead run now, represented by Alfonso, and here with two outs, clutch hitting Todd Zeal. He's one for four, but that's a big one. Two RBIs on this. Alfonso and Ventura will score. That's the gamer. That's the insurance run. 10-8 is the final. Piazza as well. Second batter of the game, Marquise Grissom, is on at first. A balk is called here. Rick, 
What's the call? Well, Javi Lopez is sitting outside the box right there. This might have come from last night, though. There was a flashback here. Lopez out of the box right there. Davey Lopes arguing about that. Tells the umpire, hey, we've got to fix that. All Davey's trying to do is shake things up a little bit. Well, he shakes Bobby Cox up. He gets kicked out for the third time this year. Here in the bottom of the first, Jamie Wright to Andrew Jones. Jones, good shot on that. Out it goes. 20 home runs this year, 100 in his career. We'll have more on that in just a moment. Now here in the second, Greg Maddox to Henry Blanco. Blanco the chopper, the gold glove winner. This. Is one tough play. Make a lot of those plays, Rick. No, they do. <laughs> not, not, not Nobody else makes that play. Yeah, give yourself one, maybe, but that's a tremendous play. Here, Jeremy Burnett with the longest home run in Turner Field history, which, you know, is not saying an awful lot, but 454 feet. It's a good shot. More importantly, it's a 2-1 game. Here, Reggie Sanders caught stealing. Rick, you read? Come on, Reggie. I mean, you've got to. That's what they have clubhouse guys for. They'll watch the uni. You've got to get down. This is a one-run ball game right here. All right, he didn't put it in play. A hard slide right here might kick the ball loose. That's not right. Oh, here, cruel but fair. And then Jamie Wright. Look at that. Andrew Jones, the big cat, and getting it done. Jamie Wright gets the win here. Now up to 4-1. and one. Hosting the Cubbies, Kevin Tappany would start. Ismael Valdez could not do the blisters. Spot of five. Preston Wilson. Damon Buford out there, blinded by the light, has no clue. Dude, it's over your head. Never mind, it's gone. Wilson's 15th. We're tied 1 1. Top 7 2 1 Chicago. There it is. Runners on the corner. Sammy. Facing Chuck Smith. High and deep, but it stops at the warning track. It will bring home Eric Young, though. It's 3 1 Cubs. And for my money, there's no better entertainment value than Billy the Marlin. There he is! Get him! <laughs> Cubs bullpen putting out the fire. Tappany relieved by Rick Aguilera. Well, not quite. Two on, two out. Bottom eight, Preston Wilson, one more team. To right, his second of the game and 16th of the year. It's now 6-4 Marlins. Three. Your next batter is Derek Lee. Oh, man, his second of the game, 14th of the year, first time ever the two Marlins each homer twice in the same game. A five-run eighth, they win 7-4, Marlins' eighth win in 10 games. Aggie blows a save for only the fifth time in 20 chances. Marlins' 37-year-old rookie Joe Strong pitching one-third of an inning, his first career victory. Antonio Alfonseca now with 22 saves. That is tops in the major leagues. Phils and Expos in Montreal. Mike Lieberthal's been hot, so he had the night off. Huh? <laughs> Jimmy Williams managing this team. Top one, Bobby Abreu facing Carl Pavano. Doubles to right center. Kevin Sefson comes in. Pavano allowed two runs on five hits and six. One nothing Phils. Bottom two, Lee Stevens, Randy Wolf. Heads up. Wolf went seven innings, gave up only one run on six hits. Bottom six, there's the bat. Vladimir Guerrero, up the middle, they wave Rondell White, Phillies lead 2-1. Guerrero with RBI number 64. Now that's production. Same inning, Michael Barrett. Lines out to Abreu. He goes over to first. That's the DP. Top eight, Pat Burrell. So left. Run scores. Throw is cut off by Barrett, who underthrows Vidro, and geez, that's a problem. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Rolling and Burrell come in. That's error number 10 for Barrett. The Phillies win 8 1. Phillies have won five of six and seven of nine. Rain Davis, he has the clicker, the ump says, uh -uh. and then Quinn would walk. Next batter, Greg Zahn. Oh, that's a rope. You didn't wash on that one. That's down. He was two for three. Three runs, Rosalie, two, one. Jeff Rebele, that's going to get through. Here comes Quinn with a run. And right behind him comes Zahn. Royals leading it now, two, one. Here's Rebele. Ground ball, Randy Velarde gets there, smothers it, can't make the throw. Royals lead it 3-1. to one. Let's go to the top of the six. Royals leading 3-2. Mark Quinn. Every Royal in the lineup had at least one hit. This was the only home run. Quinn, the three-run job, is eighth of the year. The Royals lead it 6-2. We're going to build some drama, though. Bottom seven bases loaded, 6-3. Eric Chavez, he's got that new contract extension. But there's extension by Mike Sweeney. Makes the catch, ends the inning. Royals win it by kind of 8-3. The A's offense fizzles. So does the nine-game winning streak. Ricky Batalico, the Royals' closer to start the season, now leads the team and wins with seven. He's second and saves with five. 
Ben Grieve went 0 for 5. His streak of eight straight games with an extra base hit and an RBI halted. Orioles at Safeco. Mariners looking for their fifth straight win. Mike Hargrove not thrilled about that. Top one after back-to-back -back singles. Jeff Conine. Off John Halama, 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 Halama to left. BJ scores and it's 1-0 Baltimore. Bottom one now. John Olerud facing Pat Rapp. To left center, Stan Javier scores. It's 2-1 Seattle. Olerud's major league leading 26 double. He had been 0 for 12 career versus Rapp. Top three, Halama. Brings up BJ. He allowed one run on seven hits in eight innings. Top five now. It's Mike Bordick, one of four Ks for Halama. About a five. Raps turn. He does nothing. Ks A Rod. He struck out a season high eight, but couldn't get any run support. Top eight, Sirhoff. To second, Rodriguez to first for the 6 3 DP. Mariners win 2 1. Orioles have now lost eight in a row. John Halama wins for the first time since May 29th. He started the season 6 0, remember. In Pat Rapp's last 11 starts, he's 1 5, 5.68. Baltimore's record at Safe Count now 0 6. Seattle has won seven straight series for the first time in franchise history. The first, Ryan Glenn facing Ozzie Guillen. Here's Ozzie. Nice batting helmet. Get more pine tar on that thing. Down the left field line, but Rusty Greer, the former driller, is there to make the catch. Top seven tied at four, Fred McGriff. Hey, while this is flying, why don't we just tell you right now that Albany beat Florida 55-45 in arena football. McGriff, four for four, double raise lead, 5-4. Mike DeFelice now off Tim Crabtree, and that's also going to be out. Tampa Bay 74, Grand Rapids 54 in arena football. DeFelice is second. An angry fan says, you can have it back. D-Rays go up 6-5. They win it by a count of 9-7. D-Rays improved to 12-6 in their last 18 games. Texas has dropped 13 of 16. Three DPs in this one did not help. Losing is like a wildfire, said Rangers manager Johnny Oates. Spreads like crazy. Last time, Minnesota's Eric Milton faced the Angels. He no-hit them. That was last September. Bottom two, Garrett Anderson. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Our chief weapon is fear, fear and surprise. Our two chief weapons, fear and surprise. That was Troy Gloss. Fear, surprise, and a ruthless efficiency. Our three chief weapons, fear, surprise, and ruthless efficiency. That was Scott Spezio. Back to back to back, Jax. Tom Kelly, get on the phone. Who's he calling? The Spanish Inquisition, because they're not expected. Top five, twins up five, four. Corey Koski drills the Kent Bottenfield pitch to left. Darren Erstad is in front of the Flintstones exhibit out there, and it's gone. Twins go up 6-4. They win 11-5. The Twins beat the Angels for the first time in seven meetings. Day first, Masato Yoshian and running. That's right. It's the first stolen base this season by a pitcher. It's 1,348 behind Ricky Henderson. Same inning. Next batter, Tom Goodwin. He likes bat. That is going to stay out of the pool, so it's dry, but it's going to get down and score Masato Yoshi. And watch this. This is a good slide for a pitcher right here. Good and into second with a double, two zip rocks. Same inning, Rockies. Aggressive again on the base pass. Good one to third. Stinnett's throw gets away from Craig Council. And what in the name of William and Nathaniel Showalter, the third's going on here because it gets away from Stinnett. And good one scores, 3 0 Rockies. Home half of the fifth. Runners on the corners, Tony Womack shooting. The, oh, Nephi Perez. Good glove work there. Solid double play. Glove men save runs. Gabe White has been a stud for the Rockies out of the pen. Two outs trying to pick up Yoshi against Travis Lee. Oh, down and away. Tough pitch to hit. 21 straight scoreless innings for White. And then the bottom of the eighth, Rubio Durazo just activated off the DL. And Goodwin is there again. Sliding grab. 23 straight shutout innings for White. That's a Rockies record. Rockies get a win on this one. And they run Yoshi's record to three and seven. All three runs, uh, wins have come against the Diamondbacks. They moved to within a game of Arizona in the West. Six times this season, since six times since the start of the 99 season, the D-backs have been shut out in a game started by Randy Johnson. Big unit loses at home for the first time in 10 decisions. Dodgers at St. Louis after an hour and four minute rain delay. Bottom one, Mark McGuire off Oral Hershiser. Number 550 for his career. Cardinals up 2 nothing. Big Mac's 28th of the season. That is tops in the major leagues. Bottom two as we adjust history. Here comes the rain. Need some help out there. Tony LaRusso pitching in. They had three rain delays totaling four hours and 55 minutes. 
Get back going again, top five, Alex Cora. Off Alan Bennis, gets away from Eli Morero. Adrian Beltre scores, it's 2-1 St. Louis. Bottom six, Jim Edmonds off Carlos Perez to left center. So McGuire's coming up now, and Davey Johnson has seen enough. Goes out to get Perez out of there. He wants Terry Adams, who has just begun warming up. Too bad, get in there. Look at Big Mac, nearly takes his head off. Now there's two on and two out. Later in the sixth, Craig Paquette. With the bases loaded, singles up the middle, it scores two cards up 4-1 now. Paquette has five RBIs in the first two games of this series. Top nine, Beltre. Edgar Renteria, full extension. Renteria now hitless in 16 at bats, but still producing with the glove. It's worth another look. Renteria stretching to nab the ball. Getting Beltre, getting the force, and Beltre at first. Your thoughts? Thank you. Cards close it out 6-1. In 214 career games at Bush, Big Mac now has 103 homers and 219 RBIs. This is Alan Bennis' first win since July of 97 after missing two and a half seasons with shoulder injuries. It's Astro, San Francisco, they had a big third. Top of the inning, one zip. Shane Reynolds giving up the single to Bill Miller. They're just getting started. 500th game for Jeff Kent is a giant. He had four hits, runners on first and second. Next batter, J.T. Snow. He walks, so the bases are chucked for Ellis Burks. Burke shoots one over there to Chris Truby, but he booty, 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 booties it. Everyone safe, a run scores, two zip giants. Next batter, Ramon E. Martinez. Is that going to stay fair? Yeah, and it stays in the ballpark. Kenton Snow score, two-run double. Martinez had three RBIs, and the Giants had a four-zip lead. Did I mention we're still in the third? Doug Mirabelli. That's a money ball. Three-run homer is six. Sevens of Giants. 13 batters came to the plate for San Francisco in the third. They win it 13-4. Mirabelli, five knocks. A triple short of the cycle said, quote, this is the best day of my career. Giants pound out a season best 22 hits as a team. In two games inspiring their pitching and hitting coaches, the Astros have given up 23 runs and scored seven. Padres Reds, Barry Larkin's highlight. We're just glad we're watching. Top second, first though, Ruben Rivera against Ron Vallone. Pops it up and you know who's out there. That would be that great defensive player, Dante Bichette, making the catch. That's just an aggressive play right there. Bottom second, 4-1 Reds, Dimitri Young. It's one to right field, and that is off the padding. Two runners would score, and Young would run really, really fast into third. Throw away offline, he's safe. 6-1 Reds. Kevin Nicholson looking for his first hit in the bigs. Oh, yeah, the solo homer. That's the way to get it started, kid. Padres now trailing 6-2. Barry Larkin then against Matt Clement and Larkin. He's done this before. Seventh homer of the season, 7-2 Reds. Fifth trip to the plate for Larkin. And how about we go with five hits on the day and another home run. This one a two-run shot, eighth of the season. The Reds win at 11-5. Larkin, 17 four-hit games in his career, finally bangs out that fifth one. Reds win for just the fourth time in 17 games. Malone scratched from his scheduled start last Thursday because of a cut on his index finger. Gave up eight hits and four runs in five-plus innings. His first win since May 20th.